Professoressa Rita Levi Montalcini, thank you for uh, having accepted to come to Brescia. But uh, lately, I know that maybe you cannot come because of some important uh, engagement uh, uh, in China. So if you will not go to China and you will not uh, be able to come to Brescia, I would ask you to give uh, a welcome uh, address to the participants. Uh, it is a great pleasure to give the welcome to participants, all of them quite famous neurologists. So it is, uh, I regret more than my dear friend, Professor Brunelli, if I will not be able, still I'm not so sure, but if I not be able, this means uh, that uh, from China I, I cannot uh, refuse the invitation because the this is a very, very important. It is 50 years from the, combi from the starting of the neuroscience in China, and uh, I do believe that uh, they are very much anxious to have me as a neuroscientist. This is the reason, Giorgio, that I am delighted if I can come, but I'm not so sure it will be possible. But I and the participant will understand. Thank you. Thank you so much, George. I come every time you ask me I to know. come because of my very great, and not only affection, but great, great admiration for you. So I would be delighted if I can avoid going to China. But anyway, I mean, it's difficult to see now if I will or not be able to come. Maybe you would like to say some word about our meeting, about... Uh, yes. Besides your welcome, which I would be delighted to be able, personally, to be able to give to this very uh, important personality in neuroscience, unfortunately, as we mentioned, cannot be sure. I mean, the reason of my great, great admiration for Professor Giorgio Brunelli started from his changing, from a very famous uh, in the neuro, not neuro, orthopedic, Microtopedy, yeah, the film was famous already when it started. He changed from uh, this field to the field of neuroscience. And his contribution in this area seems to me so important that I would like to know that I would like to see Giorgio Brunelli recognized at a very, very high level. I mean, what he was able to show is that the receptors, the, uh, the neurotransmitter can be changed from, as I will briefly say, from uh, cholinergic to glutamatergic, and he did so in a very ingenuous way. I mean, normally, the spinal cord, for example, uh, acting on the motor end plate, through a system which is the receptor of the system is cholinergic. But in this case, a person or at least the animal model, but also, I mean, he was able to show that this is not only very true for animal model, but also for human being, when they suffer of a spinal cord section, I mean, normally these fibers of spinal cord cannot reach anymore the peripheral no motor and plate. In this case, the person become unable to walk because there's no more transmission from spinal cord to the motor and plate of the master. He tried with great success an entirely different way. The nerve by the, the fiber coming down from the uh, spinal, from the cerebral, Era is not the cerebral. Yes, cerebral. I mean, it just uh, come, I mean, do, uh, can bypass the point of section and reach directly the motor and plate of the muscle. But if, uh, in this case, I mean, the fiber have a different uh, neurotransmitter that is glutamatergic, like uh, instead of cholinergic. Well, in the case of the animal, but also in the human model, and he showed it. it it is possible that uh, the motor and plate act uh, is, uh, with an entirely different neurotransmitter that is glutamatergic instead of being uh, uh, instead of being cholinergic. This is an entirely new finding, which is really an impossible. It was impossible to predict. Professor Brunelli came 
therefore, from being a very famous orthopedic to a very famous tenor scientist. So I'm delighted, I will be delighted to be here, as I was in the past uh, second convention, just to say how much I believe that this is entirely changing, is an epochal discovery which will give us not only possibility to people who were unable to walk, but to walk again, as a young lady was able to do. That is, she had a spinal cord section. She was operated by Professor Brunelli, and uh, the fiber coming down from the higher brain centers just reached directly the muscle, and uh, it was possible for the motor and plate to act as the periphery, not uh, through a cholinergy, but uh, to a glutamatergic uh, transmit. The very epochal discovery was uh, the discovery you did on, uh, on the nerve growth factor. And uh, we are waiting for the possibility to have uh, this growth factor available. And I hope that next year we will be able to use I'm it. I'm almost sure that this will happen. I, I, I hope mean, so. the work is going very, very well right now. Thank you, George. And uh, a last uh, uh, question. Uh, would you like to say just one word about uh, Camillo Golgi? Because this is the end of the celebration year of Camillo Golgi. Yeah, they received the Nobel with Carl in uh, 1906. So that is uh, just uh, one century ago. And this is the year to Golgi. Golgi was a very famous uh, and still <laughs> is considered one of the most important uh, neuroscientists of the, all the time. He you know, not only discovered the reaction, the black reaction, chromogenic black reaction, but he did a number of other discoveries about the Golgi effect and also in the field of malaria, I mean, and also the field of the Golgi system. So it has been a, a personality of tremendous intel intelligence. He was also a musician, mus musicologist. I mean, the personality of Golgi well deserved to be celebrated as one of the most important neuroscientists of the past and beginning century. I mean, he received in 1906 the Nobel with Carl. They were not very friendly to each other because it was a different viewpoint. But uh, his contribution was the one which permitted to Carl to discover the way of the nerve centers interconnected, just using the system of chromogenic system discovered by Koch. Rita, I want to thank you so much for your kind presentation. And uh, I hope you are not able to go to China. <laughs> I also hope so, God, George, because, uh, I mean, my affection and my great admiration for you, you know, you. is going, you know very well. How much you. from thank the you. very beginning of your work, I admire you all the way. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, George.